Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Walk and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey everyone and thanks for tuning in. I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly and this is my review on Royalton Antigua. I am actually in the room now so if you want to see a quick tour, check out that video also. So about the resort, in Royalton Antigua. This resort is located in Antigua and Barbuda. For those of y'all who don't know, it is in the Caribbean. This is about a 30 minute drive from the airport, which is Antigua International Airport. ANU is the airport code. Check-in was a breeze, actually. I don't know because it was empty or they just good at checking in. Once I got to the resort, the bellman greeted me. He took my bags. He told me to walk over to the lobby where I checked in, got my armband, which is the room key, which is great. I love resorts that give you armbands for your room keys, like such a breeze. You don't have to worry about, oh, I forgot my key or you misplaced it or whatever. At check-in, they offered me a drink. It was either an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage. I did choose the alcohol beverage. It was nice and refreshing because once I landed in Antigua, it was hot. <laughs> We're in the end of June. It is hot in Antigua daily. It was supposed to rain every day on the forecast. And my whole week stay, I think it rained two days. And that's it. So, like I said, I was here for a week. I actually had two separate bookings. One was in a... Uh, entry level which is their mountain view room and then the second one was in their diamond club room the first room the mountain view room was on the sixth floor this i mean okay let me scratch that so there's one building i realized one building one side is the 10 and one side is the 11. i'm on the 10 side so building 10 Floor 6 and my room was 13, so 10, 6, 13. That was my Mountain View room. My second room was the Diamond Club, which is on the ninth floor, still in the 10th building, so it's 10, 9, 0, 7. And there are definitely differences between the two rooms. So the first room that I had was the Mountain View. It was a longer room. When you walked in, you was right in the room. To the left was the bed. To the right was the bathroom. Now in this room, which is the Diamond Club room that I'm currently in now, when you walk in, the bathroom is to your right and you gotta walk down a little walkway, which is right there. Your closet is on the left and then you come in and your bedding is here. You have a couch, you have a dresser, which the first room, the Mountain View, did not have. So I was a little bummed with that. I was like, something's missing in the dresser. But it did have a table and a couch. But this one has the dresser and has a workstation, which is perfect for me. The beds were actually perfect. The first room I had two queen size beds. Please note that when it comes to two beds in the room, they do do two queen size beds in the room. Not two doubles or full. It's two full size queen beds in the room. This room currently, it has one king size bed, which I'm by myself, I prefer. But I did take advantage of the other room with two beds. One I kept my clothes on, <laughs> the other one I slept on. Each room has a mini bar that's stocked daily if you want. You have your sodas, your water, juices, and some beer. Can't go wrong with that, right? Here at Royalton, they have 24 hour room service, which the menu is located on a television. You can actually order your room service on the television. You gotta click it. They'll call you on the phone to confirm your order. And then when they're on the way, they'll also call you again saying, hey, your room service is on its way, which is great. Now the bad thing about it is the menu is limited. When you're not in the Diamond Club, you get a choice between spaghetti, club sandwich, chicken fingers, a chicken wrap, chicken noodle soup. Um, for appetizers, you get hummus, cheese plate, uh, salad, and then dessert. I think you get like a cheesecake and a brownie. When you are upgraded to the Diamond Club, you get all those plus you get salmon, lasagna, and like two other things you get added to it. So if you have the chance to upgrade to the Diamond Club, please do. Now, I would say take advantage of 
your room service because I've been to other Royaltons, but this particular one here in Antigua, they do have their sports bar which sells food. Usually it sells food until about 2 a.m. This one here, they stop serving food at 9.30 and they direct people to order room service. So that's a little bummer. I don't know if it's because it's not a lot of people here or short staff, but I did hear that they stopped that three months ago. So hopefully they could change it. Hopefully if you come to Worlds in Antigua, it's different because you do get tired of the room service menu and I did get a chance to eat at the sports bar, which is called Scores, and their food was delicious. The ribs was delicious. What else did I have? The salmon was delicious. I am a salmon fanatic. A salmon, salmon. <laughs> I am a salmon connoisseur, and their salmon at Scores is delicious. I just wish them late night cravings, you could go down to the sports bar and get it, but you can't. But you can get the salmon if you're part of the Diamond Club on the room service menu. All Diamond Club guests come with a butler. I had the honor to have Maxwell as my butler and Charnette as my butler. I just met Charnette today. Unfortunately, I am leaving tomorrow, but Maxwell, the whole time being here, he took care of me. He bought me food from the restaurants. I just thought like, oh, he can, you know, get something done in your room or set up reservations for dinner or order your, like bring your room service. He was like, no, Corey, if you want to order something from a restaurant, I could bring it to you. I was like, don't tell me that. And sure enough, I ordered, I think twice from two of the restaurants and he bought it here. So I didn't have to get dressed and go to the restaurant at night. I did have a lot of work to do. So I stayed in the room and picked out. <laughs> but yeah, I saw Maxwell a couple of times throughout the resort, like when I was either at the buffet or I was at the lobby bar. He checked up on me like, hey, Corey, you good? Let me know if you need something. He was always there. And then um, I did get a little special tour today with Charnette. Shout out to you. Um, I'm happy that that happened. Also with the Diamond Club guests, they have a Diamond Club, a separate Diamond Club check-in and lounge where daily they'll serve um, light, appetizers you can pick it up yourself or you can get a drink yourself they got premium liquor in the diamond club lounge which is a-okay <laughs> so now back to the resort the layout of the resort is actually long um when you arrive it's the lobby then the lobby bar where they have their nightly shows i'll get back to the shows keep on walking you'll meet you'll run into the cafe. The cafe serves um, tea, coffee, ice cream, um, I think frozen yogurt, and different pastries. The pastries are good, and the ice coffee with caramel. And there's a lot of seating, so if you need to do work day, that's the perfect location to get some work done. After the cafe, there is a shop that you could, you know, pick up some things for your room, some souvenirs, if you want any snacks. Following that, you have the Scores, which is the sports bar. Then after that, you have Hunter's, which is the steakhouse. I'll touch up on that too. After that, you have the Buffet. I forgot the Buffet name. I'll have it here on the screen, the Buffet name. After you leave the Buffet, you walk and then you have your room buildings. It's one building. One building has all the rooms. It goes up to the ninth floor. One side is 10, like I said before, and the other side is 11. I don't know which one has the best view, but I am in block 10, and we are closer to the beach. So, if you're looking to book your room ahead of time, do block 10. In front of the room buildings, right across is the Diamond Club building, which you can't miss it. And then after that, when you're walking still, Towards the beach and the pool, you'll meet up with the teen club and then the kids' water park. After that, you have arrived to the pool, which is nice. I did stay at the pool. I did enjoy the pool. And then you have the beach. After the beach, I believe you have two more restaurants or three more restaurants. I did experience the Caribbean restaurant and the Italian restaurant, which I'll definitely get back to those. And then after that, you do have the overwater bungalows. If you ever get a chance to stay in one of Royal Tenantiga overwater bungalows, 
please do and let me know how your experience was. Now, food wise, food wise, I am not a picky eater, but I love to eat. My company is called Fork and Fly, so I love to eat and travel. So the negative, I will say, is the buffet. The buffets, at first I thought it was just the breakfast, but at lunch or dinner, I did have a little bit of disappointment. So let me clear things up. Breakfast, it wasn't many options the first time that I did go to breakfast. And let me say first, I am a breakfast person. On vacation, I do wake up for breakfast. I enjoy breakfast. I think that is one of my favorite meals. So, I did go down and went for breakfast. The first time that I did, they didn't have no bacon. The breakfast ends at 10. No, 10.30, I believe. And I got there at 9.40. And there was no more bacon. So I was bummed. There was no more hash brown. So what I did get was an omelet and some other things. Then the second time that I went for breakfast, I got an omelet also. But this time I did get bacon. And unfortunately, the bacon was salty. I don't know if it was just a salty bacon or they added salt but I was highly disappointed and I tried one piece and then I went for another piece thinking it will maybe be different and both pieces were salty. This whole trip that I was here for seven nights I only went to breakfast two of those days and that is really really bad for me for a person who truly loves breakfast. So now I went for lunch and lunch this particular day i went for lunch i feel it was more of a caribbean because they had curry chicken brown soup chicken they didn't have no more macaroni and it was an hour before closing i waited a good five minutes because the lady's like let me check and see if there's any more macaroni she came back out and she's like sorry no more macaroni i was like but it's still an hour to go no macaroni and this particular day, I think like a conference, like a group of people came for a conference. So for them to run out of macaroni an hour before closing, ugh, I didn't really get to really enjoy lunches there. The rest of the days I did order room service. Now when it comes to room service, like the, the options was limited, but the options that they had were good. Like the chicken finger was good. The chicken wrap was good and when I upgraded to the Diamond Club the salmon was good and the lasagna was good so I was pleasantly pleased with the room service menu now when it comes to the a la carte restaurants like I said I experienced the steakhouse the Caribbean restaurant and the Italian restaurant and all three were good all three were good I even went to the Caribbean twice I think the Caribbean was the best, and then the steakhouse, and then the Italian restaurant. I ordered a few things from each restaurant. Everything was hot, everything tastes good. Kudos to y'all at the restaurants. Y'all did y'all thing. I made up for the buffet. Now when it comes to the restaurants, they do rotate. Even though they have a few restaurants on property, Every day, all restaurants aren't open. Some days it'll be these, some days it will be that. They do rotate the restaurants. So if you're here for a couple of days, it's best that you schedule out, like plan out your restaurants that you really want to go to. Now, entertainment on property. I didn't really get to go to the pool or the beach that much, but the time that I did go, they did have a phone party. Phone party was on a Sunday which was really nice. A lot of kids was in the pool for the phone party. Um, it is not a, an adults only resort, so just keep that in mind. But they did do beer pong, they had music playing. It was fun. Um, there was a volleyball game going on. They have a swim up bar, so if you're one of the people who just like to be in the water and like to have your drink in the water, they do have a swim up bar. I didn't get to experience the beach. Next time I will, I do have a a cast walking boot on my foot, so I'm very limited to go to the beach, but I did get a view of the beach and it looks really, really nice. They do have jet skiing and other 
um, things on property as well as catamaran and all that good stuff. So if you get a chance to check that out, check it out. Other entertainment, they do have a lot of shows every day, um, like an Antigua a fashion show, a reggae, um, a reggae show, Mr. Irie Man, a Caribbean night, like it's a lot of different things, karaoke. In when all the show was over, like about 10:30, 11 o'clock, everything would move to the sports bar. I found myself at the sports bar every night from 11 until it closed at 2, and I was the last one to close it out. The DJs, the two DJs that were there, they were good. They played music that I love. They even took some requests. Some DJs don't take requests, but they took requests. The bartenders at the Scores Bar were A-OK. -okay. They looked out for me. I love my sidecars. They did my sidecars. Shout out to Nick. Shout out to Ricky. Thank you. I will definitely keep your contact and I will see y'all again. And now speaking about the staff. The staff here is friendly. You go to other resorts, not particularly in Antigua, but you go to other resorts and some staff don't even say hello to you like when you're walking by. Here, everyone will say, hey, good morning, hi, you good, you good? I love that, I love that. Like, they don't have to particularly care for you or, like, be working with you. It's just a hi and good day and whatever goes a long way. Like, you don't know how that could really make somebody's day, it's just saying hello. So, the staff here is a-okay, a-okay. I had no problems. The housekeeping ladies, um... I don't know if it's if it matters, but like I said, in block 10 on floor six and floor nine, the housekeeping ladies was a-okay. They asked me, am I good? I'm like, yes. So definitely the staff made my stay. Tomorrow I do check out and being that I have the diamond club, my butler will help me check out. They'll drive me to the front where I'll be waiting for my transportation, take me back to the airport. But basically, this is my review for Royalton Antigua. I definitely will be back to Antigua. I will be back here at this resort because I really enjoyed it so much. If you guys are looking to head here or any other Royalton or any other property in another place, contact me, Corey. I am the owner of Fork and Fly. I specialize in luxury travel, group travel, destination weddings, and everything in between. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.